Hey all, welcome back to East 2, where last time we went through the Campanile of Lane and fought Zava. And in doing so, we ran straight through, heard the bell go off four times, and were too late to stop Dallas from completing the sacrifice. On our way back though, we received the Dreaming Idol, which we found out we need to place the Black Pearl upon its head in that little eye socket hole in order to stop the petrification. So we do have a game plan. Biggest issue is, is Keith was the one that had it last, but he only used it to open up the thing. So maybe Tarf might have an idea. Tarf is in Ramia Village. What's wrong, mister? Huh? Black Pearl? Aren't pearls usually white? Oh, is that what you call that stone you gave me when you got out of that cave? In that case, I have it. Um, uh, I have it right here-ish? Or not? Oh crud, there's a hole in my pocket! That stone was so small too. I don't know if I could possibly find it now. I don't even know where I dropped it. I had it when I got to the village, as much I know. I was playing around with it in my pocket when I talked to that guy in the funny eyes. You know, the guard? I'm really sorry, mister. I hope it wasn't really super important or anything. And I told Tarf not to worry, and reassured him that Black Pearl would surely be found soon. I'm super duper sorry. Since I dropped the Black Pearl after I got here, maybe somebody found it and picked it up. That's what I'm hoping. Alright, so the guard with the funny eyes. Alright then. That would be Gorto up top. I don't really know how his eyes are funny, but... The Black Pearl. I saw the man in the black cloak bend down and pick up a pebble or something a little while ago. I'll bet that was it. The question is, where did he go with it? It's kind of weird. I only took my eyes off of him for a second, and suddenly he was gone. Well. Okay, so Dallas has the Black Pearl. Alright, then let's head back into the shrine then. The meeting's finally over. Lord Dallas apparently recovered something that brought the meeting to a sudden close. What was it, you ask? Beats me. Something extremely important, that's all I know. Alright, so... That apparently means that the Black Pearl has been recovered by Dallas and the meeting's over. So... The best place to check is the meeting room? How do I get down there again? That's the biggest flaw in my game plan is I... Don't remember how to. Never mind, I found it. <laughs> of course, I always do that. It's like, I don't know where it's at. There it is, never mind. Oh, the door's open. Alright, well, that was easy. We obtained the black pearl. Alright. So, let's warp back to the goddess statues. In the palace of goddess. Alright, I got both the items. As the Black Pearl was set within the Dreaming Idol, a faint glimmer emerged from its darkened depths. Break the curse of our people. Travel to the top of the Kevin Isle and raise the idol towards the heavens to undo the spell of petrification. The final battle draws nigh. We have called the priest's descendants to come join us here in the shrine. It won't be long before they arrive, and all are gathered in the ancient underground core of ease. Please, pray to them. So they called everybody over. Alright, well, good to know. So, let's head all the way back up to the top of the Campanile once again. This time around, though, it's not going to be still of much dread because we're going to be getting rid of the petrification, at least. Okay, let's do this. Up we go. Yeah, that's- that's concerning. I glanced at it, I saw like, part of the sprite was missing, I'm like, where's her body? Alright. When Adol held the Dreaming Idol to the heavens, a bright light emanated from its forehead. Ah, 
Ah, so close. So close to another level up. Well then, wrong button. <laughs> Let's warp to the Runaway's Hideout and see if everybody's fine. If the door open, there we go. Everybody seems fine. Oh, air, delicious air. I work with stone for a living, and let me tell you, getting turned into it is a much less rewarding experience. But that aside, we're saved. He did it. You saved us all. I knew you'd pull through. I was keeping my ears open while we were being taken away. From what I overheard, the demons are coming from the East Core, which is even deeper underground than the canal. When I was being held in the bell tower, I looked outside and realized I could see the world below. Could it be disease returning to the surface? When it came to, Lilia was gone. I wonder where she could have gotten off to. This place is teeming with demons. It's not safe for her to be here alone. And the goddesses keep her safe and deliver her back into our care. So she's gone? Yeah, she's gone. Alright. Thank you for saving us. That friendly demon named Keeve told me. Well, he said someone else in the shrine was off to turn the stone, just as we were. I would wager that he's been changed back as well. A demon! We're doomed! Oh, wait. Also, it's Keith. At all. This is the man who helped us in the bell tower. Take care. I'm going on ahead. It's a wing! We can use that to get everyone safely back to the village. Alright, we can go home. You're a real lifesaver. Don't worry. We won't get in your way. We're going to head back to the village. Thank you so much, Adol. If only Lilia were here, things would be perfect. Adol swore that he would find Lilia. Understood. I'll leave her up to you then. Oh, that reminds me. I picked this up before I was captured. I found it in the old abandoned Rustini mine. No clue what it was doing down there. I think the area where I got it is called, I want to say, the Sacred District of Toll? Something like that? Close. We never entered it before, but it seemed like we were being guided there somehow, so we left ourselves to fate. You may need it in your battles at all. You should take it with you. The Golden Pendant! Now we can actually access the other path. Anyway, I'll see you later at all. You can do this. I know you can. I believe in you. Alright, with everybody going into the village, let's head there ourselves. I have a quick little one-two I want to do at the shop. Let's head there really quick. I finally have enough money for an item that will prove particularly useful. All right, so let's buy the elixir. Ah, you have a keen eye, sir. This is something of true worth. I'd even go so far as to call it my pride and joy. I know I said before that I had no real must-buys here. That's because this little vial is priceless to me. I put it out more for bragging rights than I actually sell it. In fact, it's the only one of a kind in all the world. I'm legitimately proud to own it. Quite a miracle drug it is. I'll bring you back to life after suffering a mortal wound. If I had to, I suppose I could sell it, though I priced it well out of the range of most sane individuals. 60,000 gold is what I'm asking. Can you handle that? I, I can't believe it. You actually bought it. You must really have been saving up. Pains me to sell it, but I'm impressed by your dedication. You said well, young man. Alright. So now with that out of the way, make sure I set one of everything aside for you. Yep. There we go. We are all set. We now have the elixir, which will bring us back to life if we were to suffer a mortal wound. Very, very convenient, considering... We're getting close to the end game now, so that would be a mighty fine item to have. Don't worry about Lilia at all. I have faith in that child. I suspect she's gone off in search of a means to lend you her aid. While you wait for her return, you may feel free to rest here for as long as you like. I will do that. So, Sada is in the canal. Who are you? I see, you reversed the petrification? Much obliged, my name is Sada of Ramia Village. I came here to rescue my fiance Maria, but a man in a black cloak cast a spell and turned me to stone. I'd all hesitantly told Sada that Maria had been sacrificed. 
No! I... I... If only I'd come sooner. Maria. Thank you for fighting to rescue her. Even if you weren't successful, I respect the effort alone. I have no further need of a sword. The one I sought to protect is beyond protection now. This sword has been passed down through my family for generations. As I've lost my will to fight, I believe it would be put to better use in your hands. Please take it. It's no ordinary sword. It possesses an incredible strength. Really, it's the only thing that's got me this far. Oh, yes. In my home, there's also a pseudo-armor made of the same metal. If you tell my father that I'm alive and well, I believe he'll let you use it. Alright. So let's head to the Ramia village and talk to Hadal. Right. Whoa. It could just be me, but I swear I can like see like clouds now here. Either that or it's just because of the sun being like a little bit faded. Ah, oh, Adol, so glad to see you in one piece. Is that the Claria sword I see in your hands? I assume Sarah gave it to you. Adol described his meeting with Sadah to Hadat. I see. Thank goodness. Since Sadah has entrusted the sword to you, please allow me to augment the set. And that gives us the Claria armor. This is Claria armor, which my family preserved alongside the sword. Both were entrusted to us for the sole purpose of one day being handed down to a hero led by the twin goddesses. A sword and armor will serve you quite well, I'm sure of it. I only had the Claria shield to give you as well. 700 years ago, Ease became a sort of arc in the sky, if you will, and we've been floating here ever since. At all, I pray that your battle will end in victory. If you need my help with anything, do not hesitate to ask. Alright, so now we have both the Claria armor as well as the Claria sword. So, let's head using the Golden Pennant, which is way, 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 way. Actually, I don't even need to do that now that I think about it. I should be okay to just go straight through. Because the area I'm going to now. Hello again. Yes, I'm an awfully little busy little chap. And I need to get back in. Yep. Thank you. Alright. Up we go. Looks like the sun is setting. So let's just make our way through all these rooms in order to get to here. I didn't mean to talk to this thing. I did not mean to talk to this thing. Okay. <laughs> Let's put on the item I need to warp. To an entirely new area once again. Alright. Subterranean Canal. Looks like we have an even another area to go through at this point. But it looks like this time around, I'm in a completely separate section. As you can tell, I can't get through over to where I just was. When I was actually looking for Sada earlier. So, I can go up there, which seems like a game plan to me. Alright. Rather spooky and quiet, so you know what this means. Boss battle ahead. No. Let me get a... Why do I not have one in this slot here? <laughs> Whatever, now I do. All right, so I should be good to go. Uh, let's see, should I put anything? I don't have any herbs. I believe I don't I'm not using an elixir. I'm gonna maybe use one of these at this point. Otherwise, I don't really need necessarily anything else. So let's go in. At all the red. At long last, you've come. I never suspected you to be so strong, but this is where it ends. I will utter a prayer over your mangled corpse, the hopes that goddesses will fall into ruin on this spot. I was born of the essence of magic. No parlor tricks scanning to you by the priest will have any effect on me. Alright, Dallas, you're going down. Ah! <laughs> and so far, it looks like I gotta avoid all your stuff. Where are you gonna appear? Right there. 
Ah! Not off to a great start, but as long as I keep dodging you, we should be okay. And up here, there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, that's not terrible. Just as long as I keep my damage output being more than what you do to me, I'm okay with this. Ow. Okay, so far I'm not okay with this. Ow. Okay, that was rather a terrible one. That was terrible. Alright, let's give this another go. Okay, much better. Should be able to get more hits in if I can get close enough, but I don't want to get too close. Because I will get hit like crazy. Alright. I have the meat if I ever need it, so I can just use it. Ow. This is fine. Kind of panicked a little bit there, but I'm okay. All right. Come on. Just a couple more. Now I just need to be careful and go through another little bit. Okay. Last health bar. Now we're basically evenly matched. So whoever can do more damage first will kind of win. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> okay. Problems. Problems are had. So he's changing up his magic pattern now. So dodge all this. And then get in there. Okay. Whoa. Okay. Good. Good. I'm outpacing him. Just a couple more hits. All right. Careful. Okay, get in there. Ah. Okay, about uh, one or two more hits. Ah. <sighs> All right, I got a level up and another level up. Okay. All right. Alright, looks like we have a chest right here. Let's see what we got. The shield magic. Magic the fact, priest of spirit, creates a barrier that none can penetrate. Erect a force field for added protection. Alright. That'll be useful in the coming battle. But, now that Dallas is dead and we reached inside the core of ancient Ease, next time on Ease 2, we head towards the finale. See you all then.